Hey! Have you ever found yourself tangled in a web of complex conditions and endless if-else statements? Imagine you're building a complex application where you need to handle numerous user inputs, sensor data, and system events. Your code quickly becomes cluttered with nested if-else statements, making it hard to read and maintain. Sounds familiar, right? Here's what I mean. Imagine you're writing a program to process user input based on different commands. As you can see, it works, but it can become cumbersome with more conditions. So, what's the solution? What if I told you there's a cleaner, more efficient way to handle this? Something that's borrowed from languages like C and Java. Yes, I'm talking about the match case statement, Python's answer to the switch case. Now, you might be wondering, why do we need a match case statement? Isn't our good old if-else statement enough? If-else statements are great, but when you have multiple conditions to check, they can get messy and hard to read. That's where match case comes in. Match case offers a more declarative syntax, which is not only more readable, but also more maintainable as your code base grows. See how much cleaner that is? The match case statement checks the value of command and executes the corresponding block of code. If no cases match, it falls back to a default case, represented by the underscore. Let's explore a more complex real-life example. Imagine you're building a smart home system that processes various events like sensor readings, user commands, and alerts. Here's how match case can help manage it all seamlessly. This line defines a tuple representing an event. The tuple contains three elements, the type of event, the specific sensor type, and the value recorded by the sensor. Here, it matches the pattern of a given event and extracts relevant data, executing the appropriate action based on the event type and details. When we run this script, we will see this output. To sum it up, the match case statement in Python is a great addition for handling multiple conditions and pattern matching in a clean and readable way. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Python goodness.